This is the Biblical Unitarian Podcast. Hey YouTube, how's it going? Dustin Smith here with the Biblical Unitarian Podcast, bringing you another video to educate us about the one true God and about the humanity of Jesus. And today we're going to be talking about the humanity of Jesus in a very important way. We are going to be talking about human beings who are called God in the Bible. Yes, did you know that the one true God allows for human agents to actually bear the title God correctly in the Bible? And in order to demonstrate this point, we are actually going to be consulting the experts, the lexicons, the grammarians, the experts when it comes to the Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, three languages in which our Bibles are written. And so the first resource we're going to look at is the Hebrew and Aramaic lexicon of the Old Testament. It is abbreviated as the HALOT, H-A-L-O-T, by Kaler and Bob Gardner. And this is a resource you can still get today, and it is considered the standard lexicon when it comes to Hebrew and Aramaic words. And we look up what it has to say about God. So we're going to look at the most common word for God, which is the Hebrew noun Elohim. And what we see in this is that, oh, looky here, the king, the human king is called God in Psalm 45, verse 7. That's actually the Hebrew version. But in the English, it's going to be Psalm 45, verse 6, to where a human king can be called God. Who else can be called God according to this Hebrew lexicon? Well, if we look down here, we can also see, wow, those who bring cases before God, namely the judges. And it gives examples here. Exodus 18, verse 19 talks about how these human beings will act as representatives of God. And then it gives the verses in which these judges are actually called Elohim. Exodus 21, verse 6 has the human judges called God, also in Exodus 22, verse 8 and 22, verse 7. We can also see in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 25, to where the reference to God there is likely to a human judge that functions as a mediator. Also in Psalm 82, verse 1, we have judges that are called gods. And Psalm 138, verse 1, has much of the same. And so we can see there are a variety of references here, nearly a half dozen, where human beings are called God when they function as authorized judges. Very, very interesting. Now, we also have Moses functioning in God's place, being called Elohim. We can see this in Exodus 4, 16, and when Moses speaks to Pharaoh in Exodus 7, verse 1. Now, why is it that Moses here can be called God, can be called Elohim? Well, it's because Moses is functioning as a prophet figure. Moses is speaking on behalf of God. He is representing God's interest. Moses, as a prophet, can be called God correctly. And that's what we see here within the Hebrew text. So there we have three different types of human beings that are correctly called God according to the Hebrew lexicons. We could see that the human king who rules on God's behalf can be called God. We could see that human judges who judge on God's behalf can be called God. And we can see that prophets like Moses who speak on God's behalf can be called God. What about the New Testament? You might be asking. Well, lucky for you, we have a great New Testament Greek lexicon here. This is the BDAG lexicon as it is most commonly abbreviated. It is the standard Greek lexicon for New Testament studies, the Greek English lexicon of the New Testament by Denger. And so we look at the common Greek noun for God, theos. Look at what we find here. We look, boom, it is used of humans, plural. John chapter 10, verse 34, where Jesus himself says that human beings were called God within the Old Testament, citing Psalm 81, verse 6, which is the Hebrew, but Psalm 82, verse 6 is actually the English reference. And it also notes here that in the Old Testament, we have the references that we've seen already within the Hebrew, Exodus 7, verse 1, Exodus 22, verse 27. And it also notes that Philo, 
a first century Greek speaking Jew whose writings are as extensive as all the New Testament writings calls human beings God in all of these different references. Primarily he calls Moses God because he recognizes that prophets of God can rightly be called God when they speak on God's behalf. So there you have it. We have references in the Old Testament to where our expert grammarians are saying in the lexicons that human beings can rightly be called God and within the New Testament Greek as well. So based on the evidence we have observed thus far, here are three facts upon which we can all agree. Fact number one, experts insist that highly qualified human beings were rightly called God in the Bible. That is a fact that we can all agree on. Fact number two, Jesus himself taught that certain human beings can rightly be called God. We saw that in John 10, verse 34. This is something that Jesus himself agreed with, believed, and taught within the New Testament scriptures. And fact number three, which I think is the most important fact that we can all agree on, when Jesus is called God, like in John 20, 28, or Hebrews 1, 8, it is biblically acceptable for qualified human beings who acted as authorized agents of the true God. It is perfectly possible for the human Jesus to be called God when he is acting as an authorized agent of the true God. And guess what? Jesus fits all of the qualifications that we've seen within our references. Jesus is a king ruling on God's behalf. Jesus is a judge who judges on God's behalf. Jesus is certainly a prophet who speaks the words of God. And most importantly, Jesus is a human being, a human being who could be called God because the true God works through Jesus as an authorized human agent. So there you have it. That's what the experts have to say about human beings rightly being called God in the Bible. And I think that's the way that we need to understand the references to where Jesus is called God within the New Testament. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share for more videos. Also, check us out on iTunes for our weekly audio podcast, The Biblical Unitarian Podcast. My name is Dustin Smith. Until next time, you folks, take care.